damn headset. Knew we should have replaced these things. Foster? Alan? Copy. The van's in position right behind the gallery. Let's do it. Quick. Surprise, guys. Valerie here. Steve will let me come along for the ride. Good luck and be careful. Siegel here. I'm approaching the guard station. Well, we got the location right. I'm in the outer lobby. No guards in sight. Auto pan cameras, lots of gaps in the paths. I can dance around those. Let's light this place up. Trip wires, standard config. Nothing special here. It's a walk in a park to the first gallery. Can I help you? I sure hope so, sir. The museum entrance is around the corner, but it's closed for the day. Well, I'm supposed to meet my wife for some special opening. I guess there's some hoopla over a couple of paintings. Ah, the Rembrandts. First time the reunited pair have been shown together in decades. Yep, you should feel pretty lucky to be invited to the sneak peek. But I'm afraid you're early. Party's not till tomorrow night. Oh shoot. You mean I got gussied up for nothing? Afraid so, sir. Hope that tux isn't a rental. Nah, my wife drags me to these things all the time. I just about sleep in this thing. Well, heck, I'd buy you a beer if you weren't babysitting a bunch of paintings. Ha! There's a pub right down the street. I'd join you if I didn't have one more round after my partner finishes his stroll. No worries, pal. Say, give me directions to that watering hole and I'll have a cold one waiting for you. Sure, you go out of the way you came, turn left on the street, right behind us. Great. Easy enough. Can't tell you how helpful you've been. Yeah. Maybe I'll see you at the bar. Delivering your card key now, Taylor. You've got one guard on the floor, one in the doghouse. I'm a few steps ahead of you, Siegel. Hurry up. Stay on schedule, guys. Just say the word, Taylor. Go. I'm in. So, Mr. Rembrandt, these are your greatest masterpieces, huh? Not bad. But I'd much rather have the diamond we'll be given when we deliver you to your new owner. And again, I'm no art critic. Siegel, you're up. What's your ETA? Step aside, my friend. Just don't step that way. Pressure sensitive tiles. The left one is wired, the right one's clean. It's all yours. Foster, 20 seconds. Hurry it up. Well, don't you look dashing in black. No time, Valerie. One down. This doesn't look good. Steven, what in God's name are you doing? I can't go down for this. This is my retirement. Sorry, old pal. You and Siegel are on your own. You guys are a liability. Taylor, save yourself and let the pickpocket take the fall. I know you've wanted to work alone. Consider this our breakup. Foster, get back here, you bastard. What's going on? Get me out of here! Hey, Magic Man, it's your lucky day. You have a visitor. Five years without a peep, and my old friend wanders in from the cold. Let me guess, you're here to collect that loan from our last visit to the Vegas poker tables. Plus interest. In that case, I wish you were still hiding in the shadows. Where you been? Oh, you know, laying low. A few solo gigs here and there. Looking for our friend Mr. Rembrandt. Well, I figure something's happened if you're poking your head out of your burrow. Indeed. An opportunity. 
of a lifetime. Oh, that sounds familiar. It should. Our famous landscape, well, half of it, is showing in Prague next month. Probably not as impressive without the cottages. Foster probably eats dinner under that scene every night. Most likely. He sure couldn't cash in on the deal, so it's probably impressing guests in his summer home. Turns out the client left him high and dry without the complete set. No pair of paintings, no diamond. Now he's left with a hot painting that he can't sell. And a hot girlfriend who didn't exactly help us in our time of need. Well, if you were in time of need, I'm sure she'd help you again. In fact, <laughs> let's just say that she's redeeming herself as we speak. Don't worry about it. Just follow my lead. Uh-oh. Looks like you have a plan. I have the plan. Sounds like you're trying to recruit me. You looking for a job? You have a job to offer? You're hired. Your offer letter is in my breast pocket. These stupid celebrity weddings cost more than I make in a lifetime. <clears throat> Jeez. Pardon me interrupting your lunch break. I need to see a prisoner. Well, well, well visiting hours are over, uh, Agent, uh, uh, Agent, Agent Baxter. I, 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 I... The prisoner's name is Siegel. Alan Siegel. Yes, I know the prisoner, but... This is official business. Please, time is of the essence. Um, I suppose for the FBI, anything goes. The visiting room is down the hall to the left. Baker's on duty down there. He can fetch the prisoner for you. Jeez.
Glad you could drop in. Here, patch yourself up. You must be my guardian angel. Or Valerie Carrera. Good to see you. Likewise. Oh, and Alan. Great to work with you again. Likewise. I see you two have reacquainted yourselves. Now, let's get out of here. What? Better stay sharp, or prisoners will start strolling out the door. Ah! 
Eh, nice place. I could work here. You're late on your first day of work. Afraid I'll have to dock your pay. I didn't realize I'd have to suck up to the boss. I just might have to rethink this career choice. Ah, come on. I miss exciting business travels to exotic places and the chance to bring down an international crime ring. Sounds like our old friend is playing with the big boys. Let's say he's bitten off more than he can chew. Stephen Foster has always been one to talk his way into any situation. So it's no surprise that the Rembrandts were headed to a well-funded client. Let me guess. The Mafia. That's a generic term these days. Reminds me of guys in trench coats with names like Lockjaw. No, this elite client is part of an international organization that specializes in the most exclusive stolen artwork and antiquities. These guys are more powerful than a room full of Fortune 500 CEOs. As for the Rembrandts, Stephen negotiated the project on his own and for himself. We were promised a few hundred thousand each. They promised him something special. One of the most valuable diamonds on the black market. Hmm. So it was a lose-lose situation for us either way. Well, not exactly. Foster had to deliver both paintings to receive his gem. His client wasn't happy, to say the least. It's a surprise that he didn't end up at the bottom of the bay. So why'd they spare him? Because they need him to finish the job. Hello, Alan. It's good to see you again. And under such surprising circumstances. The last time I saw you, you were speeding off in a van. I had nothing to do with Stephen's behavior that night. Then again, he lost control well before that night. He's an egomaniac on a power trip. Pardon my tone. It'll take a while to shake off three years in the slammer. Well, it'll take longer than that to forget the helplessness I felt that night as we sped away. And the look on Robert's face. Well then, it's water under the bridge. Welcome to the team, Valerie. The client has given Stephen one last chance to redeem himself. The second Rembrandt, the one not displayed in Stephen's private study, will be shown at the Prague Museum of Art in just a few weeks. Stephen is meeting with the client, Anton Caravas, on the Venice Express en route to Paris. This is our chance to find out what he has planned. It's imperative that we're on that train. We'll board the train, infiltrate the private car at the rear of the train, and uncover his plan. This is the most important job of Foster's career, so no doubt that he has a team and a well-oiled plan in place. We need to know every detail of that plan, and just to cover our asses, we'll record evidence of the meeting. Photos, just in case we need a bargaining tool later on. Well. As long as I'm not dangling a photo in front of Foster from behind the museum's security lockdown. Just to be safe, my friend. We have more reason to be careful. Indeed. You're famous, Alan. You remember Bernie Stanton, don't you? My electronic surveillance guru has been tracking your record since you checked yourself out of the slammer. Seems that the Czech Interpol thinks that you might be heading to Prague for some sightseeing. We'll need to keep your eyes open. Uh, I was hoping to be challenged on the job. Guess we got our work cut out for us. Let's go catch a train. Well, here are the objectives for this mission. We need to open the train's security hatches in order to get into Foster's private compartment. Then we need to take photos of the private meeting between Foster and the Mafia. Then swap the Mafia's diamond with our fake one. And finally, steal the Prague Museum's blueprints and send them by satellite. Now follow the plan, and good luck. series of mountain tunnels, so we're cut off from the satellite signal to home base. We need to move to get the plans, make the diamond swap, and upload the data to home base when we've reconnected with the satellite. Let's get going. Understood.
Why is this stupid train stopping now? Mr. Foster, Interpol intelligence agents are entering the train. No panic. I don't think they're looking for our men. Or our guests. So keep your eyes peeled for any familiar faces. Understand? Robert Taylor? Just keep your eyes open.
Robert, Alan, we have very special guests tonight. This place will crawl with Interpol agents soon. I think they're coming for you, Mr. Alan Siegel. What can I say? I'm a popular guy. Guys, Interpol is conducting cabin and ID checks. They're heading your way. Don't panic. I have a plan, but I need your help, Valerie. Hurry, please. They're going to evacuate me, too. Moreover, agents have received the order to shoot on sight. Since the prison, Siegel is considered as a dangerous runaway. Okay, just try to hide yourself in a cab. When the train is empty, you will discreetly come to Foster's carriage in order to unlock the door. The roof's trap has been locked. I repeat, be extremely discreet. For our part, we will try to join Foster's carriage, too. Okay, thanks. Over.
Not bad back there. A few rusty spots, but not bad at all. The only rust is in your bones, old man. Old man? At least I'm not gray. Boys, you're both dashing. Now, pay attention. That DVD contained a gold mine of information. Schematics, names, times, places, you name it. So what's Foster's plan? He has a full team in place. World-class pros. He's not taking any chances this time. We'll need to be a step ahead of him. Once Foster has the painting, he'll vanish. We can't let that happen. So what? You want to put Foster in a cage so that he doesn't make a clean getaway? Nah, we'll let Foster cage himself. <laughs> I see where this is heading. With no painting. He'll be back where he started. We need to get our hands on the painting first. And hope history doesn't repeat itself. This time, we'll be ready for any tricks that Foster might have up his sleeves. Look here. Schematics of the rooms and security measures. Typical museum layout, I see. With some very atypical 21st century surveillance. The museum just added the most advanced security features available. Laser gates, pressure sensors, the works. Can we bypass it? Good question. We'll need to pay a visit to the museum to scope out the system. There's more. Employee records. Good. While we're there, let's lift ID cards for the employees with the highest clearance. That way we can access secure areas. A job right up my alley. Exactly. 
So, the big question, how much time before Foster does the job? We don't have much time, I'm afraid. Looks like it'll happen just two weeks from today. Plenty of time, but we'll need help. And who would that be? I made some new friends while you were in the pen. Like you, they're specialists who are the best at what they do. I'll make some calls. Well, here are the objectives for this mission. We need to add our aliases to the contractor database and grab blank ID cards. Valerie, you head over to the Sales and Administration Annex. We'll help you. Hack into the contractor database in the storeroom and open the safe containing the blank ID cards. After that, we'll bypass the cameras and we'll make a copy of the keys we need. Now follow the plan, and good luck. We haven't done a day job in a while, so stay cool and focused on your tasks. Good luck.
I don't know about you guys, but I feel culturally enriched. Good job, team. Let's gear up for the next phase. Good job back there. Valerie, how's it looking? Looking good. Our cameras are online, and the tracking devices that we placed on the guards are up and running. And the database? All set. We changed the contractor database without raising an eyebrow. And these will come in handy. Nice lift for someone so out of practice. Just like riding a bicycle. Yo, Taylor, you home? Aha, uh -huh. just in time. Sorry we're late, buddy. Someone got lost. Not lost, just misdirected. All these warehouses look the same from the outside. That means lost in my book. But you're here now, and that's the most important thing. Valerie and Alan meet Gary and Martin. Pleasure. Hello. Two of the most specialized of specialists. Gary Willis, a man who can move mountains, quite literally. An explosives and demolition expert, he can detonate his way to a precious mineral buried under a mile of earth, or to a single gem inside tons of cement and solid steel. Whatever the job takes. Gary helped me extract a few jewels, uh, trapped inside a vault with walls as thick as the Grand Coulee Dam. Gets the job done with precision and no mess. A true pro. And Mr. Martin Crane is a force to be reckoned with in his own right. Former bodyguard to the stars, he has earned the nickname The Wall. When someone gets in the way, well, they don't stay in the way for long. <laughs> Look forward to working with you. Welcome aboard. All right, then. Now we're looking like a team that can take on Foster. Yeah. If we were playing football, the wall would be our entire frontline defense. Best team I've had the pleasure to compile, that's for sure. Now, we're just missing one man. Our electronics guru, Bernie Stanton. He's our key to getting past the museum gizmos. Alan, Valerie, fill the guys in on the plan. I'll grab our Bernie. Time is of the essence now. Well, here are the objectives for this mission. So here's the plan. Bernie, you use the ID card to pass yourself off as cleaning personnel and open up the access from the museum's storage depot. We'll then slip into the administration zone to generate the access code of the high security area. Watch out for the security systems and the guards. Now follow the plan. And good luck. Well, hey there. So that they changed the cleaning night on us. Guess we won't see John tomorrow night, huh? Yep. They never tell us anything. Hope you like to work in peace. Cause this place is like a morgue at night. John always cleans the left exhibition hall first. So I figured you'd want to do the same. Security systems are shut down in that wing only. The cleaning cart's at the front of the hall. Let me know when you're ready to head over to the right wing. Trust me. You sure don't want to trip any alarms in this place. Gotcha. Thanks, pal.
That went about as well as we could have hoped. We're clear, team. Well, here are the objectives for this mission. So here's the plan. Get the second Rembrandt, which is in the museum's high security basement. To get into this zone, we'll use the access code we obtained last night. Then we need to cut the thermal cameras to reach the main vault. Then we need to cut the vault's magnetic field and place the explosives to blow it open. Any questions? Let's get going. Damn, looks like our man is slacking on his rounds. Let's see if we can help him sleep on the job. Three, two, one. Excuse me. Good night. Let's get to work. Keep focused and stay on your toes.
All fingers and toes accounted for. My ears are ringing, but I'm intact. I'm in one piece, but my bones are still rattling. Go easy on that stuff. A little bit more and we'd be on the moon. You know me, I go for the dramatic effect.
30 seconds away. So be tanked. I can see the red and blue on the way. That was close. We're not in the clear until this van is undercover. I think we lost the police. Sure, but... What the hell? Like I was about to say, it's not the police we need to worry about. Out, now! Hi, Stephen. Taylor, Alan, and friends. Stephen Foster. Come on, Robert. You should have known you were part of my planning of this mission from the beginning. I know you. You've always been great at following through with a plan. Well, I always had to clean up after your mistakes. I figured you might need a little help tonight. And Alan, Mr. Vegas, or should I call you Jailbait? I'm surprised you're still taking such gambles in your life. I'd have thought you'd have given up on the big ticket heist and gone back to Vegas. You'd probably do better picking the pockets of vacationing retired couples. Beat sleeping with the mob. Finishing this deal is even sweeter, with you out of the picture for good. So what, uh, you're going to kill your old friends, your former partners? Is that what you've become? Please, Taylor, you're so melodramatic. I needed your help with the museum security. Your ragtag team did the job. Quite beautifully, I must say. It's like, uh, we still work together. Only you take the entire pot of gold. And you end up looking down the barrel of the Czech Special Forces in less than three minutes. Look, you always were the one with the natural talent. If I didn't break away, it would have been you who'd have left me by the wayside. This way, I gain the upper hand. You obviously don't know me that well. Better not to take the risk when you're playing at our level. I hope you can at least agree with me there. Ah, look at the time. Gotta run. Enjoy your day in federal court. Get in, fast! Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Nina Wilson, professional marksman, uh, woman, and one hell of a road warrior. Good job last night, Nina. That was a close one. How did you find this? I figured Foster would try something like this. Whenever he needs quick cash, he sets up a roadblock heist. Armored cars, vehicle deliveries, you name it. These days, I wouldn't be surprised if he robbed buses full of grannies heading home from Las Vegas. If you predicted it, why are you putting the painting at risk? Simple. Foster wants to reunite the paintings. It's the only way he'll make good with the Mafia. But now we've lost both paintings. Aha! There it is! You mean we've just found both paintings, Martin. I attached a transponder on the painting before we left the museum. Bernie, where's Mr. Rembrandt? Outside L.A., the countryside. Uh-huh. First Rembrandt must be at Foster's estate. It's a cover for an underground storage area for his stolen goods. I guess we won't be strolling in through the patio door. You kidding? Foster's got that place packed with security. This won't be a walk in the park, kids. We're on a tight schedule. Let's move out. Bernie, what's the word? I intercepted a bunch of conversations last night, all traced to Foster's cell phone. He's meeting with the Mafia tomorrow evening at his estate. The paintings are in a vault. Good job, Bernie. Here's the plan. We'll break into two teams and enter through the production and storage area. This is where Foster receives and sends black market goods. Arms, stolen valuables, drugs, you name it. Some operation he's got there. If it's on the European black market, it probably moved through Foster's estate. Okay, Team A take care of Foster's guards and disable security measures. Once the path is clear, Team B will make its way to the vault, where the paintings are stored. I know my way around the estate. You'll need my help to find the vault. I hate to take the risk, but you're right. I can take care of myself. Besides, I'm a familiar face. Some of the guys won't be surprised to see me. Good point. In fact, why don't I join you? We just might have an opportunity to have a little chat with Foster. It uh, shouldn't surprise me to see you two together, but I must admit that it does. Valerie, my dear, you could have done better than a second-rate jewel thief, couldn't you? 
If Robert were a convenience store robber, he'd still have more dignity than a world-class scumbag like yourself. Perhaps now's not the best time for a lover's quarrel. Steven, we can only stay a few minutes. Well then, I don't want to waste your time. My dear, might I have a few words with Robert in private? Suit yourself. I've been waiting for this day, Robert. It's just like I imagined. You'd stroll past my guards and surveillance to ask me the big question. Why? Why did I abandon you that night? Not the way I'd phrase it, but go ahead and entertain yourself. You can't stand the fact that you were slowing me down, Robert. You and that bungling pickpocket friend. My destiny was fame and fortune. You must admit, I've created a fine operation. Hawking drugs and arms? Yeah, Stephen. Real noble. Just something to do until I cash in on my retirement. I'm tired of it, really. That little diamond will buy a big island in the Pacific where I can retire and grow old under a palm tree. Wither like a leaf, more like it. Come on, Robert. Do you think you can just walk in here and destroy my life plans? It's not worth it, my friend. Where does it put you? Exactly where you've been for the past five years. Nowhere. Let's put the past behind us. There's a retirement package in it for you, too. Oh, really? Haven't you always wanted an island of your very own? Right. Well, we need to help Valerie's team, which is in the villa. Here's the plan. First, switch off the security systems from the control room for the underground facility. Second, Nina, our sniper, will neutralize Foster's men. Third, if Valerie's team accomplishes its mission objectives, we need to return to the pneumatical transfer system to pick up the twin Rembrandts.
Here's the main objective. We need to steal the twin Rembrandts in the basement of Foster's villa. Valerie, find a way to get us in and help us get the access code to the basement, which should be in Foster's office. If the Siegel team carries out its objectives, we should make it to the lift without any trouble. And lastly, we send the Rembrandts using the pneumatic system, and then set a few explosives to blow the place up.
special delivery on the way. Ah, just the package I've been waiting for. Good job, guys. See you at the rendezvous point. Valerie, this place is rigged and ready to go up like the 4th of July. You and Taylor are free to excuse yourselves whenever you've had enough of Foster. Special delivery on the way. Just the package I've been waiting for. Good job, guys. See you at the rendezvous point.
I know your friends are casing my estate. You have some grand plan in place, no doubt. Robert, listen to me. Your plan won't work. The Mafia doesn't play games. In the best case scenario, you'll end up dead. You should know that I always like to take my chances. Walk away from whatever you've got planned tonight and I'll make you and your team rich beyond your imagination. Yes, Anton. What? Fake diamond? How? Never. I wouldn't dare do such a thing. But I know who would. Guards! No! We'll work this out at the meeting tonight. It's not too late. What now? Mr. Foster, it's Anton's men. They've broken through the gates. So, about that island. Deal's off, Robert. The diamond's fake. Sounds like a problem between you and your mob boss. How could I steal a diamond from the mob? Exactly. Only you could pull off something like that. I'll deal with you later. Guards, secure him in the basement. Valerie, what's your status? Guys, I'm safe for now. But the Mafia joined us and it sounds like a real firefight out there. Stay out of sight, we're coming to you. We'll all get out of here together. What about Robert? He told us that if he was separated from the group, he'd get himself out of whatever mess he was in. We have to stick to his word and trust that he'll find his way to the meeting point behind the garage. I don't like this, but you're right. Try to hurry. Someone's approaching. We've located a batch of charges. They must have been planted by the Mafia. We're trying to defuse them. Be vigilant. Over. We can't let that happen.
Guys, the gear left behind the garage for Robert is still there. I think he's in trouble. We don't have time or firepower to go back in. We have to trust that he can take care of himself. And if he doesn't show up back at headquarters? We'll think up plan B. Where is he? We shouldn't have left him alone with Foster. Robert can take care of himself. We shouldn't have left him alone. What the hell is that? I do believe that would be the Mafia. And they aren't happy. Alan, we need to get Robert out of there. Just give me the number, Robert. Tell them to return the diamond. You'll walk free and my client will stop shooting holes in my mansion. You fell into your own trap, Steven. You can climb out yourself. I'm not gonna ask again. The number! No need to call. They're already on the way.
glad you could join the party. We need to get you out of here. We all need to get out of here. This place is about to blow. Come, quickly! The elevator... Damn! Foster escaped! Okay, the game is over. Please take the elevator. I have to sort Foster out. Definitively. I'll join you. <laughs> you look quite lonely there, my friend. Where's your dream team gone off to? You'll be getting no help this time. Let's just settle this once and for all. You knew it had to end this way. So be it. Prepare to die. You never were able to keep your cool, were you? That was close. Nah, I've cut it closer before. Taylor, that you? Heading your way. Good to hear your voice. You're just in time for the fireworks show. I do believe we've witnessed the rise and fall of the Foster Empire. So, now what do we do? You know, I didn't think that far ahead. I suppose the Mafia will want to cut a deal for the paintings and diamond. We'll cash out, and all of you will live the life you've always wanted. Sound like a plan? Oh, enough with your plans, Taylor. I'm gonna plant myself in a seaside villa in Greece for a while. I'm off to a hacker's conference. Anyone interested in joining? Uh, anyone? Guys? Uh, I didn't think so. What about you, Taylor? Me? I think I'll go search for a tropical island I can call my own. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost again. <laughs> <laughs>